Hello friends, this video on relation and functions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please watch part 1. So here we will learn types of relations. Relations can be of various types, for example, empty relation, universal relation, trivial relation, all these three forms in one bucket actually, empty with no elements, universal with all elements and trivial, both are called trivial actually. I'll explain all this thing in the next few slides, but these three forms in the same bucket. And then we have something called reflexive relation, symmetric relation, transitive relation and equivalence relation. So these all four also form in one bucket. Correct. So I have actually this is one type and these are all another type. type. Now I'll explain all this relation to you. The first is empty relation. As the name suggests, empty means nothing. It has nothing actually. Zero element. So if you see the relation R on set A, first before understanding empty relation, I'm just repeating the definition of relation which you have probably learned in class 11, but still I'm repeating it. A relation R on set A is nothing but a subset of Cartesian product A cross A. If you don't know Cartesian product, please go ahead and watch the 11th video. So relation R is nothing but a subset of A cross A. So if you have set A and you want to find relation on this, you get this A cross A. And this from this A cross A, you take a subset. And that is nothing but a relation R on subset. Similarly, if you talk about uh, two sets and you want to find relation, for example, relation R on two sets. So in the first case, we're talking about only one set. Here, we're talking about two sets, set A and B. So if you want to find relation between two sets, actually, there's nothing but a subset of Cartesian product of A cross B. Correct? Here you define A cross B. Whatever you get set. From this, you take a subset and this is nothing but a relation. This is something we know already know. We have learned in class 11. Now, what is empty relation? A relation R on set A is called empty relation if no element of A is related to any element of A. For example, this guy is 5. I'll give an example, real life one real life example is they are some these are girls studying in class, let's suppose class 10 in some school, ABC school. Now they are all let's suppose uh, set A. Set A is nothing but I'll say set A is nothing but girls of class 10. Correct? of A, B, C, C. So it had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only 6 girls in this class. Now if I want to define a relation saying that A is a brother of B, where A and B both belongs to this set. So if I say where I'll say A and B are both member of capital A, capital A is the set of all the girls in the class 10. Now I'm, when I'm saying that this guy, this girl is brother of this girl, possible, not possible. So for a brother relation to exist, one male should be there million, right? So in this case, with so many girls, we have one set A, for example. Now with this set, if I want to find a Cartesian product, what will I get? One, two, two, or I'll get one, three, right? 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. These are the number of the girls. Then with 2, I'll say 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. And then with 3, I'll get 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. And with 4, I'll get 4, 5, 4, 6. And with 5, I'll get 5, 6. I think this, this many values will get Cartesian product if you take the Cartesian product of this. Now, plus the reverse one also will get. Now the question is, when I say A is brother of B, so I'm saying 1 is the brother of 2, possible, not possible. So this will also not come into our domain because first thing is we have to take the Cartesian product of this and then we have to find the 1 which are relevant. So 2 is brother of 3, no, 
one brother of four no one brother of five five i mean you see none of these are possible because for a brother relation to exist at least one guy should be male so between all these six girls when i say i want to find a relation where a is brother of b then that relation will have zero element why because all are girls here correct if i include one guy here in that case this won't be a relation but in this case when i am saying that a is the brother of b so for a brother relation to exist at least one guy should be male so in such in this case if you see there is the relation r will have zero element correct because you you can't find a pair in this and you say that uh, this this person is the brother of this not possible similarly the same same uh, set if you say let's suppose i try to create a relation r and i say ab we'll say difference between age of a and b is 100 years this will also have zero element because if you pick any two girl since they are studying in the same class class 10 the maximum difference can be 5 or 6 years between any two girls i'm saying the difference between age of any two girl is 100 years so in that case also you won't get any any pair where the difference in age is 100 years so such case will also have zero element the moment it has zero element that means that relation is empty relation correct so what i'm trying to say is you have a set a set of this girls now you want to find a relation the relation will have these elements subset of these elements right now when i'm saying the relation should have a property a pattern and the pattern is a is brother of b so with this pattern there is no match i'm getting zero element so that relation is called empty match for it similarly for two sets for example if you have a set of boys and set of girls also set a is equal to let's suppose set of boys and b is uh, girls and set b is equal to set of girls and then also if you create a relationship between them in such a way that there is not even a single element not even a single pair which match that criteria then it is called empty relation i hope this is clear you take a set of girls this is one set from this you try to get the cartesian product you get all these values so if you want to find a relation you first derive a pattern and this pattern is a is brother of b with this pattern there is no match there is zero match since there is zero match i will say that this relation is empty relation had there been a single match also then this relation would not happen a empty relation for example if i say the difference between age of a and b is one year instead of 100 years then there is a possibility that we may find a difference between girl 1 and 2 is one year in that case the relation may not be empty relation because it will have some element for example this it will have this element which will fit this criteria i told a relation should have a pattern of criteria if even a single object a single pair fits the criteria then that relation is not empty relation correct if there is not even a single pair pair entering because i'm taking only this a and a now then it is a empty relation now let's go thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again